بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay so the next thing we'll try to discuss about the different methods which are included in managing the network like in the previous we have seen what is network management now we are going to see what are the different methods or different options we have uh, which can be used for network management so we'll see one by one quickly an overview the first one is like the configuration uh, for the troubleshooting or any kind of software updates we'll be using uh the the be, the the most common way is like the cli so cli where you you are going to log into any specific device either you you do the console or you you log into the remote device via telnet or ssh and you are going to each and every individual device where you are going to log into that particular command line interface and we are going to manage them individually so managing includes like changing the configurations or even uh, verifying the configurations let's say uh, verifying the configurations even if you are doing some kind of troubleshooting or if you are trying to do any kind of updates like maybe you want to upgrade the operating system you you can do that via command line so this is one of the basic method what you will be using for most of the uh, management purposes or the past and the present methods of network management we can say and also will be using something called a notepad most of the time so notepad is something like uh, will be using some kind of uh, notepad files where you are going to save some of the configurations so generally most of your configurations you will save in the in the notepad files like i got some examples here where you you may have some kind of uh, initial configs like template you have you just go and copy paste now there is something what i use for my initial labs so i do have some notepad files where i can simply copy paste all these things or maybe you have some kind of configuration files where uh, like the copy of your uh, configurations maybe you you export your configurations or take the backup and you're going to save those configuration files and the using this configuration files what you can do is if any other devices have the similar uh, kind of configurations probably what you will be doing is like let's say you want to configure on multiple devices with a similar configuration so we can use this notepad where you can copy the similar commands or copy paste those commands like like if you take a simple configuration of vlan configurations or stb configurations on the switches or even if you take any kind of some kind of routing advertisements so probably you have some kind of common configurations on multiple devices so instead of going to each and every device and typing them you can, you can you make use of the notepad where you can uh, copy paste most of the config like acl configurations or nat configurations okay so most of the network in is use copy paste the configurations on the remote sites and an events so even you you can use this notepad in one more scenario like let's say on the remote branch office you have a network engineer let's say the level 1 engineer and this level 1 engineer is like the basic engineer who will do the basic monitoring of your network and you you want to add some kind of advanced configurations like maybe some kind of bgp or ospf routing configurations or you know, you want to configure some acl or nat configurations on this particular device so one option is i can i can log into this device remotely and i can go and configure or the alternate way is i can simply uh, make all the configurations in one notepad file like you can see here i got one notepad file which i generally use for my initial labs and you can just tell the network engineer on the remote side to just you send this file and you can tell him to copy paste these configurations on on the device so you can you can log into the device so if you cannot access remotely you can still log into the command line via console and he can do that initial configurations normally so so most likely you will be using a notepad that is one more way you you use for 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 most of the configurations uh, on multiple devices where you have similar kind of configurations now apart from that we also have some other options like inbuilt scripts 
like most of the operating systems, like in Cisco, we do have some kind of inbuilt uh, scripting inside the command line. Like there are some, there is something called TCL scripts or EEM, Embedded Event Manager. So they will provide you some kind of uh, scripts which you can run for either the configuration or some kind of troubleshooting. Like if you if you just let me quickly give an overview of this a little bit. Like you, the TCL script, TCL stands for Tool Command Language. Now it is a kind of iOS script uh, inside the operating system. Like here you can see there is one example. Like let's say you want to do some kind of ping sweep. Like you want to every day you you enter into the company and your job is to make sure that you ping all the devices. You you, need, you have to do something called ping test where you will be generating a ping request to let's say uh, 50 to 100 devices or 50 to 100 IP addresses. So manually going to each and every, manually typing the each and every uh, device IP, like you say ping and then type the IP address ping and the IP address, that's, that's really a little, little bit more difficult as you're going to do uh, every day. Of course, you can have this copy paste in a notepad and you can still use notepad for that. Instead of that, what I can do is I can run, I can build some kind of basic scripts. Like this is one example of the basic scripts. And this basic script is going to generate an automatic ping request to all the IPs uh, automatically. So let me show you one uh, simple implementation of this here. Like I got one sample example here. So this is, this is the example what I'll be using. Now this is my TCL script. And I do have a pre-configured topology here where I got some routers pre-configured with IP addresses and the OSPF configurations. And I do have the console and you can see the OSPF neighborship is up. So I'm just trying to copy paste that particular script so that you can see how the automation options can be used. Like you can see I have copy paste the script. Now it is generating the ping request for all the IP addresses whichever I defined here. So if we just try to observe the script here, so here I'm saying uh, for, I'm going to get into this TCL script mode here, probably, and then for each of my address, now this can be any name, and I'm typing in all the IP addresses, I want to generate a ping request, yeah. and then here I'm saying the command that generate a ping request to all the addresses which are mentioned here above. So you can see the result here, it is going to initiate a ping request to each of these particular devices. Whatever is listed, you can see that. So like that, you do have some kind of complex scripts as well. So this is one, one option, we call it as TCL scripts, where you can save a bit of time, uh, where you can also specify multiple IP addresses which are specified inside the script, and you can let that particular script to go each and uh, each of the individual IPs automatically. So this is something what I did. I just used this simple script as per my topology uh, based on that. So this is one option you have where you can use some kind of inbuilt software script. This is like inbuilt inside the operating system. So you're not going to uh, do any kind of coding. So generally you need to know some uh, basic options here. So apart from that, we also have another feature inside the Cisco IOS. There is something called uh, trip, uh, Embedded Event Manager. So this is one example of Embedded Event Manager. Now what exactly it is going to do is, Embedded Event Manager is a feature inside the Cisco operating system. So it is going to uh, provide some kind of uh, real-time detectors, like there are roughly around 20 plus uh, detectors. And detectors are nothing but if we can detect a specific log message. Like I can give one example here, which I'm going to show you here, where let's say this is my router. And on this router, this is my interface uh, connected here. Now what I'm going to do is I want a script to run. So let's say if someone shut down the interface. So whenever you shut down the interface, like in my case, let us let me show you this. If I go here, I'll just quickly exit this. So if I go to the global configuration mode, if I shut down, if anyone issues a shutdown command, so it is going to shut down the interface. Normally it will do. And apart from that, it will also generate a long log message. Now you can see this is the log message it generates. 
So whenever a router detect this particular log message saying that this interface F0 by 0 status is changed state to administrative down, that is a log message I want to detect. So I said there are around 20 plus detectors. So I'm showing you one simple basic example of that where if this log message appears, I want my device to go to the command line and automatically execute some commands. It's called scripts. Like if you see this example here, I'm creating an applet here, some name, any name it can be, event manager. So you will be in the global configuration mode. So I have not used the mode because so that I can easily copy paste the same uh, probably on the command line to verify. And I'm going to define the pattern. So in the pattern here, I'm going to, the detector will be my log message. And if the log message is equal to this one, like this is the exact copy paste of the log message, what you see here, exact copy paste. So if this is a log message, then I'm, I'm going to tell my router to take these actions. So, so the, what is the meaning of this message? Which means this interface is uh, manually shut down by someone, maybe any of my engineer by mistake or unknowingly or wantedly, if he shut down the interface, I want my router to automatically execute this command. So whenever you shut down, this is the log message appears. And whenever you detect this log message, execute these commands at the back end like go to the enable and then and then global configuration mode and then go to the interface and simply give no shutdown. So let me just quickly show you this. So I'll copy this and what I'll do is I'll make the interface up before I go and verify here. And I can also go and enable debug. If you just want to verify a little bit more, you can use debug event manager, I think action CLI, that's a command. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this script. Okay. And once I execute this script, now I'm going to shut down the interface to verify whether this, uh, the, the embedded event manager feature is working or not, because that is what I want. So when I say shut down and I'm leaving it. So if you observe the messages here, these are the log messages what, what you will see in the backend. Now the first thing you will see the interface change state to up. Why? Because whenever the log message is generated, this is the log message which is being generated. So these are the debug messages what you will see in the backend. So it has initiated the, open the command line interface and executed the commands, configuration mode and interface and no shutdown. The same thing what I have defined here. So this is again another example uh, of of your inbuilt scripting, the inbuilt scripting options, what you'll find inside the iOS. So there are more than 20 plus detectors. So I'm not getting into the complete uh, embedded event manager topic. You can also generate an email like this example. You can even say, okay, identify the user and then send an email to this particular uh, email address from so-and-so email. And this is the log message or the subject and whatever the result or output you get, you can automate these things. So this is one, one option normally, like, like I have discussed the options here, you can see the notepad and the inbuilt script is another option. So some of the options like TCL scripts or embedded event manager feature, uh, what you have inside the Cisco iOS.